Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 566, Rapid Review. What is Waterhouse Fredrickson Syndrome? Waterhouse Fredrickson Syndrome is defined as adrenal gland failure, and this happens due to bleeding into the adrenal glands, and this can be caused by bacterial infection such as Neisseria meningitidis. So when you have meningococcemia, you can get Waterhouse Fredrickson Syndrome. What are the clinical presentation of Waterhouse Fredrickson Syndrome? The clinical presentations of Waterhouse Fredrickson Syndrome is adrenal hemorrhage, hypotension, and DIC, which is disseminated intravascular coagulation. What is disseminated intravascular coagulation? Disseminated intravascular coagulation is a pathological activation of coagulation and in this condition, there is formation of small blood clots that happens all throughout the body. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com. Dot com.